credit cards, bank accounts, personal information, that's what we usually think about when we hear about hacking. But now we can add medical devices to that list. As part of our ongoing series, Hack Nation, we meet a professional hacker who says insulin pumps are especially vulnerable and the results could be fatal. Barnaby Jack is a professional hacker. He works for a special unit of software security firm, McAfee. We concentrate on what we consider to be emerging threats in the security industry. So we pick things that I suppose cross over to the real world. Best known for hacking into ATM machines on stage and making them spit out cash, Jack's new focus is hunting security holes in wireless medical devices. And once I took a look, I was actually quite shocked to find out how many uh, vulnerabilities actually exist there. Wireless technology lets doctors remotely update software on pacemakers, internal defibrillators, and insulin pumps, and lets patients avoid surgery. Uh, I picked insulin pumps uh, mostly just because of uh, the ease of actually acquiring them. Um, we're planning on looking at pacemakers and various other implantable devices, but unfortunately it's, uh, it's, it's a little tough to just be able to pick up a pacemaker on the street. So, Barnaby, take me through how this all works. Okay, so there's actually a vulnerability in these devices. Uh, typically, to be able to communicate with them, you'd no need to know the serial number. I have a vulnerability which will let me acquire the serial number from any of these insulin pumps within a 100-meter range. And that's this, this thing right here? Yeah, so this is my software which exploits that vulnerability to actually return the IDs of any insulin pumps in that range. From 100 meters away, I can scan for any insulin pumps in the vicinity. Um, it will return those insulin pump IDs and then I can have them dispense their entire 300 units of insulin, which uh, for a type 1 diabetic will easily prove fatal um, unless you seek immediate medical attention. Most patients think they can turn off wireless capability or that safety mechanisms will warn them of an attack. Uh, what they don't realize is that I actually disable all of these warnings and that the RF functionality cannot be turned off. It's always listening. Even if you turn off the remote option on the pump, it will, this attack will still work because the RF transmitter is always listening. Medtronic, the company that makes this insulin pump, says it is increasingly focused on security, but says at this time, we believe that the risk is low and the benefits of the therapy to people with diabetes outweigh the risk of an individual criminal attack. Medtronic may fix the software in the next version of their insulin pump, but there are no plans to recall the devices. The Food and Drug Administration, the federal agency tasked with policing the $95 billion U.S. medical devices industry, told Bloomberg current adverse event data do not indicate that breaches of device security measures is a widespread problem. But Jack believes there should be a recall. I'm trying to go as public with this research as I can just to show how easily these pumps can actually be attacked and hopefully change the mind of the FDA and of Medtronic and of the public that maybe a recall could be in order. Jack brought more attention to this issue when he spoke at a security conference in San Francisco today. As for the possibility that his research could inspire attacks, he says mass attacks are unlikely due to the technical skill required.